the most deadly obstacle course in the world. And my friend Mac here is attempting to complete it without falling 200 feet to the ground. Whenever you're ready, Mac. First jump, he's about to do it! I'm so high up in the air. Look at how much that platform is shaking. We are currently hundreds of feet in the air. Look at that. And this is just the first of many deadly, painful, absolutely insane obstacle courses that Mac will face in this video. And if Mac completes all six of the obstacle courses coming up, he wins $800,000. Ah, that looks insane. I could not do what he's doing right now. Oh my God, that thing almost touched me. He might not even make it past the first level. Two more jobs. Oh my God, this is the last jump. I don't know if I can jump that far. And of course I had to make it the hardest jump. There's double swinging hammers and it's the longest distance. You have this. I don't know if I have it. Mac, 800 grand's on the line. This is gonna be a short video, boys. It's scary for me and I'm on the stable platform. <laughs> of the six obstacle courses. Let's go to the next one. Can't get harder than that. Actually, yes it can. And Mac has to complete all six obstacle courses if he wants to walk away with $800,000. Mac, are you ready? I don't know. The answer is no, because we're not hundreds of feet in the air yet. We're going up a... Welcome to level two. As I said before, this one is much harder. Remove your blindfold. Oh! In front of you are two games you used to play as a child. Balance Beam and Monkey Bars. You just have to pick one of those and get to this side. Also, take your harness off. No, 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 no. If no. for whatever reason he fails this obstacle course, he free falls 200 feet into a net just like the first course, ah! and his 800 grand will burn. Jimmy, you gotta chill out, bro. This is the second one. What do you mean? Winning $800,000 isn't supposed to be easy. God, dude. All right, looks like he's choosing monkey bars. Ah, this is scary to watch him climb down. Oh. Ah. Once he starts dangling on that first bar, he can't go back. Let's see if he locks in the monkey bars. Ugh. No way. 800 grand on the line. Three. Don't look down, because there's no going back. Two. Oh, don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. No! Bro, this is crazy. Hey, I know it might be hard, but look. Money. Money's over here. Keep going. Oh, this one's way further. Well, Mac, the further you go, the harder it gets. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Mac, you're almost halfway already. Think of all the other times you lost. Don't do that to yourself. Hey, Mac, if you fall, I have to get a new contestant. Oh, my gosh. Right, just, a, just a couple more. Whoa. All right, this one's a big one. This one's a big one. Oh, oh, he's right here. Oh, this is a crazy shot. Please don't fall. He's so close. Oh, my gosh. And if you're wondering who my psychotic friend Mac is, he's actually a contestant from two previous challenge videos. And even though he tragically lost both of them, he's been a massive crowd favorite. So I'm going to give him one final chance to redeem himself and win this money once and for all. Welcome to level three. What is this, Jimmy? Potentially your worst nightmare. You see, so far in this video, the obstacle courses have all been about strength, which you're pretty good at. But this level is going to test your brain. Press and hold this red button. Okay. As you will see, a pattern is now popping up on the floor. Wait for this pattern to populate. To move on, you'll need to cross this floor only stepping on the green tiles. And let go of the button. The catch is, you'll be doing it completely from memory. You have exactly 30 minutes to memorize the 44 tile path perfectly. And if you accidentally step on one red square, your money is rigged to explode. Here's a riot shield. Oh my gosh. It'll protect you from the bomb. Start the timer! Go for it. Hey, 
and he's off. The rain makes this so much more dramatic. Okay, the first step, oh! Ah, stop, don't tell us before you go. I do not need that. That is not helpful to me. I didn't have my Ryan shield up. Zach, you sure you don't want to come no, back? No, I, I. Bro, you can press the button as much as you want. If you're not confident in your next step, you should really, don't blow up your money. Almost five minutes have gone by. I don't need that. And you're still at the start. I don't need that. Matt, you've basically done a tile a minute so far. Okay, thanks, Carl. And there's more than 30 tiles. Okay, okay, all right, here we go. Okay. How confident are you? Not. That that won't explode I'm not money. confident. Okay. And you're gonna do it anyways? I'm kinda confident. Whoa, I, he's getting deranged. 23 minutes left. As you're questioning whether or not to take that step, I wanna remind you, this is your final chance to win this 800 grand. If you lose again, we're not bringing you back. Is it Ford one or what do you think? Who are you asking, Mac? Jimmy, I don't Wait, know. Wait, you want me to help you win my money? It's not worth it, it's not worth it. At this point, Mac was navigating so far into the course that an individual attempt was costing him at least six minutes. And no matter what he tried, he continued to forget the very end of the pattern. It was down three. One, two, three. Four, four. Boom. <sighs> I think this is it. This is it. All right, this is uncharted territory. I haven't gone this far. You have nine minutes. You can go back and check if you want. I thought that was it. The only way I could go from here is forward. I, I, I think it's... Mac. Yes. Remember how you felt when you lost the 700 grand and the 800 grand? Frequently, I think about that. So for your sanity, you might want to go press the button one more time, but it's up to you. Oh, you're going back? This is gonna be my last time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Four, four, right two, four, four, right two. Max spent half his remaining time repeating the pattern over and over again, hoping that his decision to return to the start one last time wasn't for nothing. But when Mac was finally confident enough to give it his last attempt. Okay, this is it. All right. He was faced with an extremely tight deadline. Under four minutes remain. Under, oh my oh, God. Mac, I think it's time. Mute everybody out, bro. It's just you. Okay. Godspeed. It's you in the tile. I literally feel my heart pounding right now. This is so intense. He had 30 minutes to do this. There is now less than three minutes. One wrong step and he loses another 800 grand. Four, four, eight, two. Four, four. This way. One, two, three. This is where he got stuck last time. <sighs> oh my God. Dude, it's coming down to the wire. I still got time. I still got time. Oh, there's a high probability of an explosion coming up. All right. Oh! Max, there's 10 seconds left. I don't know. Oh, oh, left, oh, left, oh. Left. Left. You can just jump. Just jump. Left. Just jump. One time. Left. Three. Four. Jump. Three. Three. He's not picking me up. Oh, you're not here. Come on, come on, buddy. No, I'm being assaulted. <laughs> and if Mac did step on a red tile. Anyways, let's head over to level four. Come on. Oh. Now this next level may look friendly, but I know for a fact it's going to obliterate you. This wow. is level four. And even though this course isn't in the sky, the obstacles you see here that's a lot. Are almost impossible to accomplish in your one and only attempt. So therefore, you have two options. Tell me. You can attempt to do this monster of an obstacle course, and if you fall in the water, lose everything. Mm. Or you can hold my Feastables chocolate bar, and as long as you don't drop it, get as many attempts as you want. Feastables sounds like the plan. Just don't let go of that bar when you hit the water. What could go wrong? Oh, oh. He literally would have lost in the first two steps. So it's a good thing he's holding on to the greatest chocolate on earth. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna be here all night. But I don't wanna be. So it's about freaking time he got through the log roll. Woo! 
I just remembered. I'm supposed to be wearing this helmet. Even though you don't need a helmet to know that Feastables is the world's best chocolate, I need you to wear one so you don't die holding my product on camera. Whatever you do, don't drop that Feastables chocolate bar that's available at every single Walmart nationwide. You can also buy Feastables using the YouTube shopping tag on screen. Oh! What is this? There's only one way to find out. Give it a try. It does not feel possible. Bro, that gap is insane. <laughs> oh, 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 what is going on? Mac, you want to get onto it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Genius. Mac! Mac seems to be struggling, so I'm going to show him how it's done. This is how it's done, Mac. Did you know that Feastable oh. Chocolate oh. comes in seven different flavors? Oh. Oh. Like my favorite one of all time! Jimmy, I'm probably gonna be joining you down there in a second. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I love Feastable Chocolate. I'm definitely not taking a break right now to catch air. The only thing saying between you and level five are these not big red balls. I called them that so Wipeout wouldn't sue me. <laughs> and these balls are so much harder than the rest of this level that we brought out some other creators to test them out. Let's just say they didn't do so hot. I'm never gonna die! Oh! Disregard everything he just did. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So if you don't want your trilogy to end with balls, you better hold on to that Feastables bar. Good luck. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. God! Oh. All right, try to. Four days from now. And no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't grab on to that third ball. We've been going so long that the sun is literally starting to come up. This is your legacy. You got it. Yes! Yes! It literally took him three hours to get on that ball. Oh, 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 hold on! Don't drop that bar. <sighs> I'm not dropping the bar. Press the button before you... Let's go! Oh, 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 oh my god! Yeah. Well, you only have two more obstacle courses to finally win one of these videos. It's not getting harder than that. You can't lie to a man while you shake their hand. Exactly. Which we're doing. That totally was the hardest one. Just kidding, Mac is screwed. This next one is way hard. Right this way, Mac. Watch out, watch your step. What way are we going? Yeah, uh, forward. I can't see. Take the blindfold off. Welcome to level five. What, what, what is this? What, what's going on? This level, you could probably tell we just built. You see, balance has been a trouble for you in past videos. You even declined the balance beam earlier in this video. You weren't even able to get over one rolling log without falling six times in a row. So now you'll have to cross not one, but three rolling logs and get all eight bags of money to the other side. And if you fall once, just once, you lose everything. And before you do this challenge, I left out one final thing. You mind pulling this lever? Yeah, it's gonna have one pull Just up. pull the lever. There's no We're way. doing this challenge. No, 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 no. 200. Why? Go for Why? It. I was, this was, it, it was perfectly fine. Why not the sky? The feeling of the ground just disappearing like that? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared now. This is wild. You would be not human if you weren't scared of this. Oh my gosh! We're so high up! You okay, Mac? No. What's wrong? I feel like I'm about to lose all this again, dude. I just, just don't fall. This exact thing, I couldn't even get across on the wipeout course. Like I fell off of it like five times. And now there's three of them and we're 200 feet in the sky. In case I do fall, thank you for giving me a third chance. Aww. I don't know if I've ever actually said thank you for giving me no, a third chance. No, you just yelled at me a bunch. Yeah, I know. Well, you put me in the sky. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> this is very sweet, but I have a feeling you're just stalling because you're afraid. <sighs> yeah. Mac has lost $1.5 million. Let's see if it becomes 2.3 million. Whenever you're ready. 
There's only one thing I say in situations like this over and over again. Godspeed. The entire platform shakes. Ah. There it is. There it is. Oh. I'm gonna go for it. Right there. Watch out. Oh. And the final piece of the challenge that I haven't told Mac is as long as you made it across, you're free to move on to the final obstacle course with whatever money you brought. Or if you're feeling risky, you can come back for more. He didn't see that coming. This is a good bit. What do you think I should do? No, Brian, you go for it. You just did this. That was, you first tried both bags. Are you kidding me? You coming back for the 600 grand or not? In the wise words of Carl. <laughs> well, you're doing this on your own accord, and if you fail, it's not. No, I'm doing it because Carl told me to. Carl Jacobs, a celebrity. There he is. Oh my god. Oh, perfect. He has now made one full trip. I'm going to either sleep with a smile on my face tonight, or I won't sleep for three. Let's go. Oh, and while Mac is hundreds of feet in the air, risking 800 grand, I want to tell you about Circle. The best part about Circle is these flavor cartridges, which you just screw on on the top like this, which allows you to make your water taste like whatever you want. You can also adjust the flavor intensity just by turning this dial. So if you set it to three, you'll get a little bit of flavor. But Carl, set it to nine now? I mean, that's a lot of flavor. That's a ton of flavor. Which makes it easier to drink more water. I have an idea. Carl! Oh, that's it. I can't believe he's actually throwing them. Oh! That's four! I can't believe that worked. Dude, I just wish that there was new colored bottles. Circle actually has five new colored bottles available now. Okay, welcome back. See ya. If you want to give Circle a try, just go to your local Walmart right now because I convinced Circle to give their biggest drop ever for a limited time. All right, Carl, ready to do the sin dig again? Take your time. I cannot believe he is throwing bags of money this high up in the air. Every one of these throws is literally a hundred grand. Good stuff, man. Ready to finish it out? Let's do this. Do you want to just stay over there and move on? Or do you want to come back here? This is where things get risky. You can go over there with Carl and move on competing for only 600 grand, or once again, grab the last $200,000 and risk it all. Dude, you got this. All right, that's the Mac I know. Okay. God dang it, dude. What you, you made it across, why are you mad? Because I almost didn't make it across. Oh. He's back. Bring home the money, baby! All right, let's bring it home. No hesitation. Godspeed. And he's off. He's off. Take a second, bro. You're good. This is a routine now. Yes. You ready to do this? Oh, yeah. Let's bring it home, huh? Yeah, dude. Think about your legs. Don't fall. All right. Oh. Okay. I'm coming to you, all right? Okay, all the money's on the other side. Now he just has to cross without falling. Three, two, one. Oh! He did it! Oh! Yes. Oh my god! Oh. Whoa! Oh my god. Come on! Oh you thought I was done? We're not done yet, baby! Come on! Whoa! Don't celebrate yet. The last challenge is where you always lose. I'm not messing this up again. And now it's time for the final challenge. Once again, Mac is blindfolded, but you can probably tell by the noise, we are going back up. Oh. We are now at the top. Ugh. A couple more steps, a couple more steps. Take off your blindfold. Witness the final challenge. This is by far the most insane obstacle course in this entire video. Oh man, dude, that is, that is, that is crazy. I wouldn't blame you if you're terrified of this course. And because you've been through a lot, and not only this video, but past video, including spiders, drowning, boulders, lasers, and of course, cookies, I have one out for you. You look right here. 
Bro, you don't even know what I'm gonna say yet. I know exactly what you're gonna say. I'm not doing that thing. In here is an umbrella cookie. So I'm gonna give you a choice. You can attempt this umbrella cookie, and if you complete it, win 800 grand, or attempt this giant monstrosity physics-defying obstacle course. If you complete that, win 800 grand. This is a massive decision. Here's the cookie. I'm not accepting it. At least not yet. I've had actual legitimate nightmares about this cookie. Oh. What was that, like a womp womp aw? <laughs> Kinda, that's sad. But I guess, I mean, you did lose 1.5 million to it. If you lost here, 2.3 million, and no other attempts in the future. Oh, that, he just threw it. Now that I know that, all right. you won't be needing this bad boy. There is no turning back. Every single challenge and every single video all boils down to this moment right now. To kick it off, he has these two trapeze bars and then a yellow platform. This only ends by you finishing or you falling. This is gonna be crazy. All right, we're off. He did it. That's only gonna get easier, right? Yeah, just don't look down. He ah. looked down right when I said that. Here we go. By the way, Mac, did I tell you I brought your mom and dad out? They're down there watching right now. Come on, Mac! Come on, Mac! Mackie, you can do this! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. This next contraption is what I call the wall of death. Creative name. Oh boy. This one has a little bit of strategy. He can go up and down, or he can just come straight across right there. And in case you forgot, point the camera down. We're still 200 feet in the air. Oh my God. This is insane. Mom, don't take your head off. Mom, that's freaking me out. Oh, freaking you out. My hands are sweating just watching. Oh. Oh, I feel sick. Oh. oh, this makes me want to throw up. God, these handles are so small. Almost there. Yes! Mom, you okay? Yes! Oh, my arms are so tired. Well, lucky for you, you still have like a quarter of a football field left. And you're gonna need all of your strength for the rest of this obstacle course. This one is all about when you dismount the circle. Basically, if you let go too early, you fall. Mac, you're shaking your arms out a lot. You better save your strength because you know how it works. The hardest is still yet to come. the giant swinging hammers. These things are massive. And I see you brought my friend the balance beam back. If he gets hit, there's no shot. He's, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Watch your head. Oh my God. That's gotta be terrifying. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're now at the final part of level six. Now listen, I know earlier you chose not to attempt the cookie. However, considering the history you have with these cookies, I just couldn't resist bringing them back one last time. I thought you already brought them back. Why are you bringing them back twice? There's no need for that. Well, I knew you were gonna say no to that. Anyone with a brain says no to that. How do I get to that? You just jump. <laughs> How else would you get there? And with every jump, they get further and further apart. And if that wasn't hard enough, I made sure that each cookie gets exponentially smaller by the jump. And the only thing between each of them is a trapeze bar and 200 feet of untethered freefall. You got this, Mac. You got it. Ah! Four jumps. Let's see if Mac gets rich. Three, two, one. Oh! 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 Oh!
almost over right there. That was terrifying. One down, three more to go. And Mac almost lost on the biggest cookie. Remember, the cookies get smaller with every jump. Don't let this be the moment where you repeat history because it's going to be your final fall. As you can see, this bar is outside of Mac's reach. So he has to jump. And if he misses it midair, it's over. And you go home with nothing but shame. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. He's swinging a lot. Don't swing for too long, Mac. You're gonna need to save your strength for the umbrella. Does the crack at the star remind you of anything? You're in the end game now, Mac. These two cookies have broken you just as much as you have broken them. Fail here, and your chance to be lifted from the darkness will be gone forever. Godspeed. Oh, he's off. Oh. It's the previous jump, arguably the biggest hurdle in Mac's entire life, the umbrella. It's do or die, he's either gonna win 800 grand or the saga ends and this was all for nothing. Your family's rooting for you, everyone at home is rooting for you. Three, I can't breathe. two, one. I think that was, oh, he's about to jump, he jumped! Oh, oh my gosh. He's so far away from that cookie. Can't Just so you know, there's 60 seconds left, man. Wait, what just happened? Oh no. I actually don't know what to say. I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. I did that twice. spend the eight hundred thousand dollars on i've got three friends of mine childhood friends of mine and they don't have a lot of money i'm gonna make sure they don't have to worry about money anymore i mean my life's changed now congrats man you it's deserve it forever, bro. you deserve it dude thank you <laughs> thank you so much yes dude, dude! yes yes <laughs> look at how happy they are oh i love you guys oh, man. Sitting on these train tracks is a quarter million dollar Lamborghini, and barreling down on it right now is a massive train. But before the impact, I'm giving this Lamborghini to Blake. Thank you. And on top of sending the train, I'm also gonna have these eight soldiers shoot 10,000 bullets at your Lamborghini. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. And you have exactly 24 hours to build whatever you want to protect your Lamborghini from the bullets. The timer starts now. Okay, first line of defense, I'm thinking a wall of cinder blocks. After that, some shipping containers filled with refrigerators. And then basically just a wall of cars to block those bullets. Do you think all of this is enough to stop 10,000 bullets? I think it is, Jimmy. Okay, but so far nothing's there. You should get the building. Blake immediately drove to three stores where I gave him my credit card and he literally spent $78,000 on supplies. And since I don't want to bore you with all that, let's just skip to the part when everything was delivered. His first round of supplies are starting to show up. Oh my God, I can't believe I bought all this stuff and this isn't even everything, man. He's got a water truck. Some of his junk cars came in. He's got a Connex crate over here. How did he get this much stuff? This is crazy. Don't worry about the guys with the machine guns. Just pretend they're not there. Yeah. I don't even know what they're doing there, honestly. We're five hours in, and this storage container is about to be the first line of defense against 10,000 bullets. All right, that's probably good. That's probably good. Do you think that shipping container is going to stop any bullets? Absolutely not. So as of now, he's screwed. Yeah, he's not looking good for him. Oh, gosh. It's been about six hours. Are you happy with your progress? I'm very happy. You sure? It wasn't until this thing got down, but now that it's down, dude, I feel really good. I asked him if this would stop the bullets. 
and they said no. And once Blake realized he had to go all out, he worked not only through the night. This way, Mr. Railroad ties. Nice, nice, yes. Really nice, really nice. But even into the next morning, upgrading his defense. Dirty stuff in the storage container with a van and a giant tube. And once I saw it put together, I was honestly pretty impressed. Run me through what you built. So I built a whole bunch of concrete in the front. I mean, the tallest part of the wall is right in the center to block the crow's nest machine guns because those things are big and scary. I got all my storage containers and a bunch of water. And if you come right over here, you will see his Lamborghini tucked away amongst everything. There it is, nice and cozy. Do you think all of this will stop the bullets? Yeah, I do. I think you have a 50% chance of survival. That's the best odds I've had yet, so. And before I have them shoot 10,000 rounds, come with me to the Lamborghini. Not only are you competing for this Lamborghini, but for 100 grand as well. What? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? This will be enough to cover the insurance. <laughs> 24 hours is up, eight scary men, 10,000 bullets. Versus everything that Blake has built. Are you ready? Just get it over with, freaking out. We're locked and loaded, ready to fire on you, Jimmy. Sir, fire at will. Roger that. Stand by! Fire! Unloading on his fortress. Oh my god, make him stop! Make him stop! Uh, they're actually ripping through the center box now. Oh man. Oh god. Yo, Blake's walls are crumbling! And what we haven't told Blake is these guns are only the first of four phases we've designed to destroy this Lamborghini. Or should I say, whatever remains after this. They just brought out the LMG. One connection, baby. There's no bullet holes in your Lamborghini. And if you don't already know who Blake is, he's actually a contestant from two previous videos. But today he's back for a third and final attempt to win the grand prize. Are you ready for phase two? Yes. See that giant crane coming? That big yellow oil rig looking thing? That is phase two. That crane is going to lift your car up 100 feet and then in 24 hours drop it and you have to catch it without it being destroyed. Seriously? Yeah. All right, bring it over here. And while we prepare the world's first 100-foot Lamborghini freefall, there goes your Lamborghini, Blake. Blake began to strategize on how he was going to catch it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Chandler, come over here. Yes, I'm here. How would you break its fall? So you get all the pillows in the city. Okay. Step two, get all the mattresses. Next, get a blanket. Chandler, you're just making a giant bed. Then a warm glass of milk. <laughs> all right, stop. You're not helping. Blake, work your magic. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> all right, guys. I got some good news and bad news. We passed day one with flying colors. The bad news is uh, the Lamborghini Lamborghini is airborne, okay? So, anyone got any ideas? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like, what do we think? The bouncy castles? Bouncy castles, that, that's actually not that bad, just because that's not bad at all, really. And after being inspired by the construction worker's wisdom, Blake had decided on his master plan. I would like to move the connexes in like a square right here with the X in the middle, and that way I can just fill the square up with a bunch of air mattresses, pillows, bubble wrap, and I'll top it all off with a bunch of bouncy castles. Just, you know, the biggest problem right now is I have no materials. Everything that I bought is hard, concrete, or metal, and nothing that I bought I can use for day two, so I have absolutely nothing. And so Blake sent his crew to buy every pillow and air mattress in the city. And even though he was incredibly sleep deprived, he got to work. I'm already at the stage where it's like, wait, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a challenge for a Lamborghini that's floating in the sky right now. By the time his materials had arrived, Blake had been awake for over 24 hours and was in desperate need of sleep. I'm gonna try to get some sleep because I'm exhausted and it's four in the the morning. And with how exhausted Blake was, he ended up sleeping for way longer than he planned. Blake! Um, is he serious? What is this? He got mattresses, pillows, and blankets, but he's missing the warm milk. Yeah, that's the key to everything. <laughs> Where is Blake? 
He's asleep, I heard. No, he's not. Yeah. By the time Blake got on site, it was already super late in the day. That's Blake's truck pulling up. All right, we need to get to work, come on. All right, let's just see what this looks like. Ooh, that bouncy house works as a big box. So I'm thinking maybe we put that thing in the middle now and then we start blowing it up. Only four and a half hours remain and it's not looking good for Blake. I don't think he has more than a 10% chance of catching that Lamborghini. And even if he does, there's no shot he's stopping that train later on. Start filling up the side so that way it's high over here takes away this wall. So with only a couple of hours remaining, Blake did all that he could by filling the rest of his pit with cardboard boxes and bubble wrap. It's coming down to the wire. Chandler, how much time is left? One hour. Blake is screwed. I have a little bit of bubble wrap left. I think I'm just gonna get raised on this thing and just wrap my baby up in this bubble wrap and I'm good to go. That's definitely gonna help. Blake spent what little time he had remaining on this crane, failing <laughs> at trying to bubble wrap his car. It's just not gonna work. You know what time it is? What? Time to drop the car. Let's drop this bad boy. The failed bubble wrap makes it look majestic. Like, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? I'm positive, Jimmy. He's more certain than me. <laughs> I'm positive about this one. I bought every air mattress at Walmart. If this won't catch it, I don't know what will. I did everything I can. Here's a few tools bar, Blake. Oh, thank you, Mr. You know, that way, even if you lose the car, at least you have some good chocolate. It's available in Walmart. Be sure to go try our new chocolate bar. I'm so curious what you think. But anyways, you have three bouncy castles, 150 mattresses. How many pillows? 150. 150 pillows and 2,000 cardboard boxes. Will it break the Lamborghini's fall? Yes. Yes. That's two yeses. Okay. 24 hours of work down to this. No pun intended. Three, two, one. Rock the Lamborghini! Yeah, we go. Oh, no, no, no. Out of my way! That did not sound good. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. All right, he's moving the Connex grade out the way. There's no way you got that Lambo. Get these boxes out of the way. Oh! What? We're about to find out how damaged this car is. The lights work. Ooh. The lights work. Yeah, this princess castle might have saved this entire car. <laughs> Moment of truth. You might have been the first person in history to catch a Lamborghini. If it turns on. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it works! I can't believe it! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! She's alive! Everything looks good, minus a little crack in the bumper. Which we found out by this official appraiser, this was only going to reduce the price of Blake's Lamborghini by- Probably 10 grand. Thank you so much, thanks for the good news. And now is the perfect time to mention that phase three is flaming cars. For Blake's next challenge, we're bringing back his biggest nightmare. We have recreated the flaming cars challenge that cost Blake everything last time. Wow, that's a low blow. To but seeing how he's done this before, we're gonna up the stakes by dropping twice as many cars as last time. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a lot to prove. Redemption day. Blake spent the rest of the night disassembling his defense for phase two. And after a good night of sleep, he was ready to begin his defense for phase three. It's eight in the morning, just woke up. We got a lot of work to do today, so let's get started. Here's the day three plan. I'm gonna cut the bottom out of a shipping container and I'm gonna drop it right on the car. Next, I'm gonna take two more containers and I'm gonna lean them up, coming to a point right above the car. And most importantly, nothing flammable this time. Do you think that will deflect the car? Yes, sir. Oh, I thought you were gonna say no. <laughs> Blake then asked his crew to remove every piece of wood that was in the container because that's what ended his challenge last time. He then had them cut out the bottom of the container that would surround the Lamborghini. This storage container could put a lot of damage. Completely crush it? Yeah. You can? I mean, yeah, I think it weighs a whole lot. And with that being done, Blake just needs to lower the container carefully over the Lamborghini without damaging. One scratch could cost him thousands of dollars. You're good, just like that. It is so close to scraping the car. Watch your fingers, we're coming down. Yes! I yes! cannot believe that. All right, next we're gonna bring these containers together to form a V. What if the car gets caught in there? Yeah, that's, that can't happen, dude. That's why we're putting this pointy thing at the top. Do you think that will actually deflect their car? 100%. 20 minutes remain, and then we see if that Lamborghini perishes, just like his 500 grand. And as usual, Blake utilized every last second. Three, two, one. Not quite sure what that dirt accomplished. <laughs> time is up. No. Let's see if unlike last time, you survive phase three. Redemption. Blake, 
You lost $500,000 from this exact challenge. How are you feeling? I feel pretty confident. I think the viewers want to know one thing. Did you put wood inside of there like last time? A little bit. No, I'm just kidding. There's no wood in there. It was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. Moment of truth. Come on in. Three shipping containers, a bunch of dirt, concrete, a weird like pointed roof thing versus 10 flaming cars. Are you ready? Let's go, dude. Light it on fire. Will Blake be one step closer to going home with a brand new Lamborghini? filled with $100,000 or be eliminated and go home with nothing. We're about to find out. Three, two, one, drop it! Oh! Oh. Oh, oh you yeah. did not I want feel like that's here. exactly what he didn't want to happen. Oh, no. Still feeling good? Not as good. Yeah, this is giving me some flashbacks. It's giving you some flashbacks. All right, ready for the next one? Let's do it, let's do it. Drop it. Oh my God, the roof looks like it's already buckling. And just in case Blake loses to the flaming cars like last time, I'm gonna take this moment and tell you about this amazing new phone. What you're currently watching on is the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This phone can record slow-mo and 4K. The camera on this is crazy. We're like 200 feet away and it's nighttime and look at how crystal clear it is. <laughs> and go ahead and drop it. Oh. oh! Oh, that hurt to watch. It also has a ton of new features with Galaxy AI, like photo assist. Remember the last challenge when the bumper got cracked on the Lambo? You can just circle it like this, and then all you do is you hit that eraser button, and just like that, the bumper is fixed. Now I have a new car. For the picture you do. Whatever you're ready. <laughs> this phone also has circle to search with Google, which makes finding information incredibly easy. It would have helped Blake a lot in the last video to learn about the flammability of wood and railroad ties. All he needed to do was long press the home button, circle the railroad ties, and ask, is this flammable? As you can see, railroad ties are flammable. He would have learned the answers instantly. They just told you. I was genuinely impressed by this phone, and I think you will be too. So, go to samsung.com, click the link in the description, or scan this QR code to check it out right now. And let's drop the next car. We dropped car after car. And with each one, we could tell Blake was getting nervous. But we also noticed that all of the impacts were starting to damage the crate itself. Ooh. Your crate on the bottom is bowing. At this point, the container protecting the Lamborghini was being crushed by the weight and heat of the cars. I thought about this every day since the last time I saw this. And now it's time for the final car! Yes! Fall! Uh, fall! Oh, oh no! Bro, it's gotta be a thousand degrees in there. His car has to be melting now. We got the fire extinguisher. Somehow he's running so fast. Be careful, Mike! I'm coming! How is it? It's okay! It's okay! Yes! You like that! If one more car was dropped, this crate would have collapsed. You stopped 10,000 bullets. Easy. You caught a car out of midair. You've now deflected 10 flaming cars. And now it's time for phase four. Bring on the train. The timer has officially started. Oh, I gotta go. Good luck on phase four. Godspeed. What is he even running at? And in case you're wondering, the flaming cars we dropped and a lot of other stuff we used were actually from a scrapyard. And don't worry, we made sure to clean up everything afterward. Blake knew that the train was going to be the most deadly attack yet, so he wasted no time in getting started. I think the best way to stop a train is to derail it. That's what I've tried to build here. All these railroad ties are tucked snug, and all of these are gonna go under the train, the train's gonna hit them like that. And if I do that a hundred more times, I don't see the train just blowing past all that. The railroad ties lost me the challenge last video. This time, they'll save me. You just need two inches off the track, and I win. Two inches is a lot, though. My man. And then once I have all this done, I can just put concrete on top. I think that's gonna work, man. I think that's gonna work. Blake worked with his crew throughout the entire night. And when I showed up the next morning, it was obvious that the challenge had taken a toll on him. What's up, Jimbo? What happened to your voice? 
I'm like dying out here. As you guys know, he lost $250,000 in this video. He lost half a million dollars in this video. I think Blake is sick and tired of losing. He has an army going super hard. They're currently stacking the cars that we dropped on phase three on the train tracks. But time was still ticking down. And in order to stop this train and take his Lambo home, Blake began adding a lot more objects to the tracks, like shipping containers, mattresses to cushion the impact, Blake's worked so hard. I'm now on his team. And water tanks. Blake really seems to know what he's doing. Too bad there's only 11 minutes left. At this point, Blake did everything he could to finish his build before time ran out. And it was actually starting to look impressive. This is it. Three. The final stretch. Two. One. Last line of defense. Time's up. Stop. Turn it off. Turn it off. Time is officially up. Oh my God. From phase one's shipping containers, phase two's mattresses, and even phase three's burning cars, you somehow use all the resources from the previous phases. Let's see if you're driving home in a Lamborghini or if I'm dropping you off at your house. Bring that train on, man. Bring it on. Before we ram everything, we need to back the train up. We're going to go really far back. That way the train can pick up a lot of speed before it hits everything. Sound like a good idea? No, Jimmy. That sounds awful. Be honest. Do you think your Lamborghini will survive? God, I hope so, Jimmy. And of course, we had to put the Feastables logo on the train. The new formula is the best chocolate on Earth. Do yourself a favor and go give it a try. But for now, it's time for the biggest moment of Blake's life. Let's see if he wins a Lamborghini. Blake, any last words? Give it all you got. Send the train. Here it comes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's coming! It's gonna speed up until it hits 35 miles an hour right before impact. Dude, it is going quick. It's just gonna derail, it's just gonna derail. Here she comes! Let's see if it was all worth it. way to end this video, Blake? What? Well, I've been going to Walmart and buying Feastables right now. It's the best tasting chocolate on the planet. Third time's the charm. See you guys later. Yes! Mr. B6000. I recreated every single set from Squid Game in real life. And whichever one of these 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. The first game we're gonna play is red light, green light, and they have 30 minutes to cross the red line on the other side of the huge room. So without further ado, green light. Red light. Oh, oh. And as you can see, every single player has a device strapped to them that when they're eliminated, it pops. Uh, Chris, you wanna have a chance at one? Red, red light. light. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no! I, I know for sure this guy moved. Green light. Red light. Oh, yo, they're dropping. Okay, now some people are getting out. You gotta get a better spot for the next red light, right? Mm -hmm. You're fine. 30 people have gotten out so far. If they move right now, they're out. They have to hold this position until we say green light. And I can take all the time I want because we still have 23 minutes left. We should get a green light going. This guy's doing a full squat. Green light. Green light. Oh, they all stop. Red light. Oh, oh, I called it! I called oh. it! Oh no! Can I put my glasses up? Okay. Do it slowly though. Be careful. Oh. Okay, Are you good? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Green light. Red light. Oh, well, you're still moving. <laughs> she was jogging over here. We're gonna go see who's in the very back. You are in dead last. What's going on? I'll let the others clear the path for me. You literally haven't even moved. Oh, uh, a couple steps. We'll see if it pans out. Green light. Yellow. Red light. Oh, that, we got her. The yellow light worked. Oh, that was diabolical to throw a yellow light out there. Since 067 was a big part of the show, I'll let you say green light. Green light. Red light. Yo, it'd be funny if she just got out. <laughs> As you can see, over 100 people have been eliminated. Do the honors, Chandler. Green light. Red light. Oh, that was a loud one. There it is, hey. Green light. Red light. Look how close they are to the finish line. 
It is do or die for most of these people. Everyone, look up at the TV. You have four minutes and 20 seconds left. Yeah, that's the number! Green light. Red light. We have our first two finishers over here. Let's go! Green light. Red light. Sorry, baby. Yes, sorry, baby. All right, we have five people across the finish line now. You're all kind of screwed if you don't run faster. Yeah, you're right. Green light. Red light. Only two minutes remain. It all makes me way too nervous. Green light. Red light. We have under one minute remaining. Time's ticking. Green light. Red light. You have stepped on the line. You are good. You're good. You're good. Let's go. Red light. Oh, it works! We got him! You're definitely out. Dude, I knew that would work. Green light! Red light! You're definitely, so many of you just got out. They gotta run faster! They've gotta, you gotta sprint. Green light! Green light! I'm not even gonna say red light. I'm not saying red light. Ah, oh, it's too late. Too late. Congratulations on surviving red light, green light. So, if you look at this TV, you'll see that only 232 of you survived. If you look above your head, you'll see the $456,000 you're competing for. And now let's move on to Honeycomb. In Honeycomb, everyone gets a needle and a cookie with a different shape on it. And they have 10 minutes to remove the shape from the cookie. But if they break the shape, they're eliminated. All right, so everybody, I'm gonna need you to get in the line in front of one of these question marks. Why did you pick this one? Just like the middle. Basically, the middle. you don't think it's umbrella. Umbrella, you did you even watch the game? No. <laughs> so many of these people are about to get out. Reveal shape number one. Oh! Reveal the second symbol. If I was you, I'd be getting pretty nervous. Reveal it! Chris, go for it. I know Umbrella going home. I don't know what I got saying. We got the circle. Thank God we didn't get the umbrella. You look pretty nervous over here. Even though you got the star, you're the main character. So you have plot armor, you're yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Start the timer. Oh my God. The challenge is underway. You just hear them all scraping. I hate my life. I was taking it out of the tin and it just snapped in half. Let's see it. It's working. Take your time. You had an umbrella? Yeah. Sorry, bud. Look at this. We have a successful triangle. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, no. What Jimmy doesn't know is I brought a lighter, and I'm going to drop it for somebody. Remaining. Let's get it, baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. This is the first perfect umbrella I've seen. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Six seven. Okay. She passed. She does have plot armor. Almost there. So close. 30 seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, are you serious? All these players have been eliminated. But don't worry because they're all walking away with $2,000 in cash. 142 of you survived Honeycomb. And if you leave in the next five minutes, I'll give you $4,000. Let's weed out some of the weak people. About $4,000. Yeah. 
Just smack me in the head. Play it. Thank you. I was not Woo. expecting this many people. Okay, okay. There we go. Head on out. And with that, I'm going to need you all to split up into groups of 10. We have them form teams because next up is Tug of War. This could determine your chance at half a million dollars. We needed the strongest people and the smartest people. We have intelligence, skill, and brawn. We're trying to recruit the biggest people so we can get real strong and pull the rope. No, no girls allowed. Oh, no girls allowed. Ooh, okay. I just sent three people off. We got 10 now. Let's go. Let's go. I should have taken the four grand. We now have 12 different groups of 10 people. Let's move on to the next game. And now let's decide who faces who. Okay. We're gonna draw one from here. Six. We'll just draw this one. Five. Okay. Follow me to the bridge. And now the moment you've been waiting for, a game of tug of war, team six versus team five. Team five on three. One, one two, two, three, team five! You fall on the foam or your flag crosses to the other team's side, you're eliminated. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Three, skip a few, go! Go! Okay. Right. Power! Ah. Oh, it's going to team five right now! Team six is falling! Congratulations, Team 5, you have all moved on. <laughs> team number two versus Team number seven. <laughs> they seem happy. Team seven and two, head on out. You keep me alive, we're gonna get the money? Uh, Let's uh, do it. Uh, <laughs> this team's oh, with me, go! Oh, it's already on right side. Hey, let's check in on 067. In the show, you won. So let's see if it works here. And Carl, we have 067. You should just lose. Carl, no, give him motivation. Oh. oh. It's over here. It crossed. Sir, can you come over here? Why don't you draw? So look, grab one from here and one from here. And then grab one from here. Team number four versus team number 10. If I was you guys, I'd be terrified because they have four, five, six. He's literally the main character. Let's go! Three, two, yeah. one, go! Oh, oh, they, they are getting steep. Oh, it's going over to field and five, six. He's going! Oh, oh, the dice! Oh, they're falling! They're dropping! Oh, snap! Oh, they all just fell! Obviously, we have no way of rigging it, but 456 and 067 both survived tug of war. Let's draw. Oh boy. Nine versus 11. In this game with Team 9 versus Team 11, they went so hard that this happened. They are going all out. Look at them. Holy cow. Oh, they're falling. Oh, they're falling. Don't let them. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, they broke the set. There you go. They literally broke it. You guys can move on. Go ahead and head on now. Tug of War took us from 120 people down to 60. And remember, only one of these people is walking away with $456,000. All right, everybody, can we have your attention? As you guys know from Squid Games, game number four is marbles. Yeah! I don't know if I'd be cheering because instead of letting you pick your partner, we're gonna make you partner with your best friend. Throughout this entire challenge, we've been monitoring who you've been talking to the most, and we're gonna make you partner up with them. And only one of you can move on. For example, 067 and 431. That's my best friend. <laughs> According to this, you two are roommates and best friends. We did our research. I have to come home to the house we live in at the end of the day. It's gonna be a bit awkward. Wouldn't be able to do it without you. We couldn't have done it without each other. I'm glad I'm with you at the end. Everybody gets a bag of 10 marbles, and they have to agree on a game to play against their best friend. 20 marbles lets them move on, but by winning, they eliminate their best friend. Go ahead and start the timer. You can play whatever game you want, or you need 20 to leave. A lot of pairs went with marble games that were played in Squid Game. Odd. Even? Odd or even? Even on the top. What? What game are you We don't know. One marble at a time is going to take you all day. If you keep on talking, it might. Okay. And other groups got creative. What is this game? We're throwing at the bricks, right? If you get the middle one right there, that's one point. But if you hit the brick in the behind, then it's three points. 
everything else is no points it's until like the clock runs out. Whoever has the most points is the winner. All right. Well, good luck with your game. But one group just wanted to get it over with. You're doing even odds for all of them. Yo, he looks so intense. He's got one more. Sure. Oh, he got it! Oh my gosh. Congratulations on winning. I'll see you in the next round. You're good, buddy. You're good, okay? Are you sad? It's gonna be okay. We promised each other we were not gonna like screw each other over. I didn't even know we were gonna be this close. I'm doing this for my family. But I'm nervous. <laughs> Best man's gonna win. Best man win, man. Best man's gonna win. Everybody you got five minutes left! They want to put $465,000 up to a coin flip. You have to make it sound like that, huh? <laughs> Tails. It's Tails! Yo! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. I'll give you the honor of eliminating oh, your best no, friend. Oh, no, <laughs> It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Before I eliminate you, I want to let the viewers know that someone random that subscribes in the next seven days is getting $10,000. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, okay? Can I do it? Go for it. Just do it right there. Ah! <laughs> oh, don't fall. They're so dramatic. So if you haven't already, subscribe and you can win 10 grand. What game are we playing? A minute and 15 seconds remain. When I hit zero, if you're in here, you're eliminated. I have one more question. What's up, man? What do you mean? You're literally uh, both about to get eliminated. Oh. What was that? Why'd you do that? You sure? Yeah. He has been eliminated. Thank you, sir. I love you, man. The time has hit zero. Everyone in here is eliminated. Congratulations on surviving marbles. At this point in the real show, there was an all out brawl to thin the numbers. So instead, we're gonna play dachi. You have to use this blue piece of paper to flip that red one on the ground by throwing it. The first 16 of you to flip your red square moves on to glass bridge, which is personally my favorite game. Everyone throw. Oh wow, we didn't even get anyone. And while they're fighting for their chance in this competition, I want to tell you guys about Brawl Stars, who helped fund this video, which cost over three and a half million dollars. Thank you so much. Throw up. Yes! Oh! Brawl Stars is a mobile game you can play at home, on the go, in this arena, wherever you want, against millions of people across the world. Did anyone? Oh, we got some! Congratulations! It's three minutes of adrenaline-filled mayhem. And they have 12 different game modes, including their own battle royale, which is kind of similar to what we're doing here. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh yeah, let's go! We have nine winners so far, which means only seven places remain. Do you, you said you played Brawl Stars? We both did. Oh, you both played Brawl Stars? What are your thoughts on Brawl Stars? That's pretty fun. It's a mobile game. You can download it on Android or Apple. I didn't um, tell him to say this. Let's go! Yo, the main characters are mine! As you can see, you see the Brawl Stars logo, he did it. They have over 50 different characters you can play as, from a vintage-driven robot to a cactus named Spike that kind of looks like Nolan. Hey! And like all our contestants here are leaving with $2,000 for free today, every single person that plays Brawl Stars in the next seven days, I will personally be giving you a free prize. So if you haven't already, go download it. If you yell, thank you Brawl Stars before you throw, I hear you'll flip it. Thank you Brawl Stars! I work for him! Oh my god, it's true! Thank you, Brawl Stars. <laughs> and for the 14 of you that didn't flip it, I'm gonna have to eliminate you. Oh, that was so in sync. Oh my gosh. Now, can all of you winners turn around? Thank you. And now you can turn around again. We just filled the room with 16 different mannequins. And here's the thing. They're actually in a random order. And the numbers on them are in Korean. And the number they get here is what order they have to cross in Glass Bridge. In a timely and orderly fashion, you can all go. Okay. First come, first serve. What'd you get? Oh, she got one! Oh! 14, okay. Two! Oh. All right, hey, do you want to just go ahead and leave now? <laughs> Everyone has a vest with numbers. Let's go to Glass Bridge. We are now at the Glass Bridge set, and look at how insane this thing looks. It is amazing. And bring out the contestants. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, my God. Players, welcome to Glass Bridge. There's two platforms you can jump on. One will drop you and one will hold you. Start the timer. 
begin the challenge. Okay. Woo. Let's go, girl. I'm sticking with it, guys. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking. I'm sticking. All right, she survived yeah. the first jump. Okay, they are one for one so far. Go right. I'm always right. Okay. I don't know if I'd listen to Chris. Chris, this is on you. Hey, victory. We had our first loss. If you're wondering where she just fell, don't worry, there's a giant foam pit down there, she's fine. Well now, now you know, now you know left. Come on, 13 minutes, guys. <sighs> we now have three people on the platform, only one out so far. I, I'm not moving. I want somebody past eight to take the next step. Eight. Past eight, I, I love that, yo. Hey, three minutes has gone by. Is anybody willing to go? The clock's ticking. Oh, the line. All right, let's see it. Come on, man, you got this. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Yes! Now go, two! Go, go. Now you go! All right. Come on, two, you got this. I'll Come take the next one. All right, bro. Ugh. Come on, four, five, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, two. Let's go, two. Let's go, two. Yeah, oh, you already knew that one. Oh, oh, oh. You see how many I've gotten? Take the next one. How many did you guess right? Three. Three? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, honestly, it's time someone else steps up. Hey, every second somebody doesn't step up, that's less time you got. Hey, if no one crosses, I just keep the money. All right, three went for it. Oh, Whoa. three just got eliminated. All right, two, he took the L for you. Hey, do you think two? Hey, honestly, hey, two, if you're three for three, you might as well keep going. Clearly, you're lucky. Oh, my God. All right. No pushing, obviously. Please, come on. Oh, no. Two bit the bullet. Two's gone. Under eight minutes. You still got a ton of ground to cover. Yeah, he's Woo! good. Woo! I don't understand why number 10 went in front of everyone. That was dumb. Come on, buddy. Yo, did 10 make it again? All right, looks like number four is going to go. Six minutes remaining. Oh, I'm doing this for the girls. Oh, no. Let's salute all the fallen people. All right, continue. Under five minutes left, tons of jumps. This is gonna get intense. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, oh no. tens go. No. Another one gone. Uh -uh. I don't move, I don't move, I'm not moving. Yo, don't look good back there right now. Nah, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. All right, just like we thought would happen, they are refusing to move. Let's see who budges. I'm pretty good, Ryan. Got it. Oh, he got it. What are y'all big numbers? Take a chance. Under three minutes with four jumps left. Somebody's gonna have to do it. Y'all in a real bad spot. I'm not moving. What are y'all big numbers? Take a leap of faith. Yeah, you do back there, 15. Whatever, man. We can all lose. You guys better hurry up. They have two minutes. Why are they not rushing? If you go, I'll take the next ones. All right. Come on. All right, uh, you jumping? Y'all really got me scared, but hold up, bro. This is a real life decision. 90 seconds. One and Jump. a half minutes. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Four, six. Jump. 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 <laughs> Yo, this is God telling me I'm not moving. One minute remaining. Three jumps, one minute. Sherrod, go. Sherrod, go. Like hey, go. you guys in the back, if you're not here when it hits here, you're gone. All right, I took my leap of faith. No, I'm going to stay right here and be cozy. Oh, Hurry, go. 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 Y'all go. Hey, it's yeah. just three. Uh, oh, all right, go, he's go, 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 six, go. go. All right, now y'all going. Wait. Take a leap of faith. Come on. Come on. You're up. You take it. I can't jump. They're in my way. They're in my way. They're all crowded on that one. Hey, 30 seconds. Go, go, go. 30 seconds. Go, take a leap of faith. Go, go, go. One more. One more jump. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Just go. One more. I already jumped. I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping. 10, 9, 8, Right there, right there. Go, go, go. Let me go watch their play <laughs> I'm gonna play the footage in slow-mo for the viewers. As you can see, the timer is on zero, and there were four people still clearly on the platforms when the timer hit zero. The four people were 16, 8, 13, and 5. All right, so the four losers, can you jump off? Just jump. You're eliminated. You're eliminated. You're eliminated. Get out of here. Thank you for coming out. And all of you are moving on to the final yeah! game. They're gonna be the four hundred and fifty-six thousand dollars. Let's go. Congratulations on making it to the top six. Work.
to celebrate, we made you all steak dinners. Now, unlike the show, this isn't a real knife. This is plastic. But you do have steak. Everyone make sure you eat up so you have plenty of energy for this final game. I'm thinking about winning all of that money right now. I'm gonna probably give most of it to my family, friends. That money's coming home with me, giving 100K straight to my mama. I'm feeling great and just blessed to be here. I'm gonna pull through. I'm definitely donating about 10,000 to Team C's, which all of you should if you have the means. I won't fold under no pressure. I'm not worried about none of these fives. Ain't nobody got nothing on me, so I'm good. You wanna just go settle this with the final game? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to the final game of Beast Games. So I think you guys can piece together what we're about to play. Musical, Musical chairs. chairs. Musical chairs, yeah. Let's test my hypothesis. Raise your hand if you know how to play Squid Game. Exactly. That's why we're doing musical chairs instead because we're not Korean. Start circling. Start the music. Carl, you can stop it whenever you want. Carl, do not look. Chris, don't look. Carl isn't looking, so we can't be biased. All right, let's see what happens. Oh! Oh, he got it. I got more, man. Yeah, I'm he's pretty way sure. more. I'm sorry about that. Oh, oh no! Sorry, bro. Oh, no. Bring the coffin over here. Hop on in the coffin. He has officially been eliminated, and five remain. This chair is now gone. Carl, start the music! Okay. You have full three. Oh! Oh, oh no. Oh. Hold on, hold on, no more moving. Come over here, Tariq. Nah, why'd you get oh! up? Yo! He had it. Nah, he had it, he had it. At least he is honest, oh my gosh. And while they're coughing him up, play the music. Okay, the music has begun. $456,000 on the line. It's about to happen at any second. Oh, man. Oh, you sat. Oh, no. Yeah, he wait. sat early. He sat early. Carl did not stop the music. Bring out the coffin. I'm going to have to pop it. Man, that's such a sad way to go out. It was a great journey. I loved it. It was so fun. Hop on in the coffin. All right, now you can't say this is scripted. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, the music has started. Three people, two chairs, one must go. Oh, oh. Keep it moving. No, you got to keep moving. Got to keep moving. They were, they, were, they were against me. They were against me, oh bro. Oh my god. They plotted on me. You have been eliminated. Open up the coffin. Thank you for coming out, man. No problem. Yeah, I loved your energy. At the start of this video, we had 456 people, and now we're down to these two. Yeah! Okay. Go. I'm gonna take this chair right here. You guys gotta keep moving the entire time. No stopping and hovering. This will determine which one of you wins 456 grand. Go kick the music on. Hey, let it let it play a little bit, Carl. Let's let him let's let him soak in it. Carl's not looking at them. He has no idea where they are on the chair. Somebody's gonna get four hundred fifty-six thousand dollars because you paused the music. Oh boy! Oh, this is on the intensity. When will he pause it? When's he gonna pause it? Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh no! Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! If it makes you feel better, I'm gonna give you ten thousand dollars for coming in second place. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me! No. And with that zero seven nine, you just won four hundred and fifty-six thousand dollars, and officially won the very first Squid Game yes! in real life ever. Congratulations on winning. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. You have seven days to win $10,000. And obviously, massive shout out to the creator of Squid Game. We took huge inspiration from the show and I genuinely appreciate you. Goodbye. Once again, behind me are 100 people and they range from the age one all the way to age 100. And they're going to be competing for $250,000. Everyone, go to your cube! And unlike any of my past videos, these 100 people will decide themselves who deserves the 250 grand. Everybody, enter your cubes! The challenge has officially begun. If any of you decide to leave or even touch the red line, you will be eliminated. How far do you think you'll make it in the challenge? I didn't go the whole way. All right, let's see how the one-year-old's doing. Do you think you'll win the money? 
Uh, have fun with the tablet. This is the line that's going to make it all the way to the end. 48, feeling great. It was clear from the beginning that the middle-aged people were the most focused and determined, but that didn't go for everybody. If you step out, you lose. Okay. The two-year-old is now eliminated. As you'd expect, the first to leave were the youngest. Did you have a good time? We'll ask it a year when he can speak. And some of the older folks. And yes, sir, I'm ready to go. All right. And already, by hour one of filming this video, six people have been eliminated. And even more are about to be. Unlike this video right here that was more of a last to leave, this challenge is about making friendships and convincing people to like you. They decide who wins the 250 grand. And I didn't know it yet, but this video was by far the most intense video we've ever filmed. Jam on, yo! Are you serious? You are a kind person. Don't eliminate me. Attention, everybody. Over the past hour, I hope you've all taken advantage of this time to make some friends because you're going to need them. Throw 10 minutes on the board. In the next 10 minutes, I need 10 of you to leave. <gasps> Literally came. And ultimately, it is your responsibility as a group to convince 10 people to leave their queue. And if you're not able to accomplish this, we're going to randomly eliminate 25 of you. Good luck. Oh my gosh, I don't want to do the 25 random. You gotta go. If you are not above the age of 12, you gotta go. Already a minute's gone by and no one's left. Seven people leave with me. I'll go out. Please. Please. I cannot be kicked out this soon. Please, guys. Kids, Please. you can come out. You gonna take one for the team? I can't do it. I came here for the long haul. Yo, do it for the greater good. 53, go. No. Are you gonna get out? I'll buy you Robux. I promise. We have one! We have one! And even though 89 decided to take one for the team, we still need eight more people. Nobody? No takers? Not to be rude, but like all the older people should leave. They got like retirement money. I'm in college. I'm they struggling. Five, four, three, two, one. You all were unfortunately not able to come to an agreement, which means a random group of 25 contestants will now be eliminated. And to ensure it's random, we're using this machine to pick the contestants we're going to eliminate one by one. Chandler, grab a ping pong ball. Our first elimination is... Number 18. <laughs> That sucks. Please help us stop. The next elimination is 85. Remember, you guys chose this. 82. Oh. Number 80. I'm sorry, boss. Okay. 99. Don't worry, we only have 19 more balls to go. 12. 24. 22. 19. Oh, this is brutal. 29. Ooh. I'm sorry, son. And our final elimination. It was 13. Oh. oh. Chandler, look at all the people you eliminated. I'm sorry. We just lost 25 people. I'm grateful that it's not me, though. Still here, but I don't know if I feel good about it. Every number that came out, is that going to be me? Is that going to be me? Am I going home today? 67 of you remain. Congratulations. And as always, once someone is eliminated, we obviously destroy their cube. <laughs> the onslaught from the last challenge, I thought I'd give them some time to recover. And so I let them hang out in their cubes for a bit, which ended up being a challenge of its own. Hey, if you don't want to spend the night, all you got to do is just step out of this cube. That's what I'm going to do. Because by the time day two started, so many people had been eliminated, we were already down to 55 contestants remaining. We're going to start the new day by seeing if you can all unanimously agree on who should win this $250,000. If all of you can agree on the same person, they instantly win the $250,000. But if only one of you vote for someone different, we're going to do a challenge and eliminate a bunch of you. Who do you think should win the 250 grand? 14. Who do you think should win the 250 grand? 11. All right, well, it's already ruined. You all could not unanimously agree on who should win that money, so uh, we have to do a challenge. Each row now has to decide on a captain, and that captain will then represent all the contestants in their row for the next challenge. Please make sure you trust whoever you pick. It will all make sense, but it's going to be very ruthless. For the next 15 minutes, each row tried to decide who their captain was going to be. Do you want to be the captain? If you don't want to. As long as you choose to not sacrifice us. I will not get y'all out. What age do you want to represent your row? 30. 30. 30. We got it! Hey, did one of y'all volunteer? I volunteer. 64. I'm okay with 64. Who in your row do you want to be captain? Me. 
I can't even handle a fight for this thing, and I'm gonna win it. All right, your captains have been chosen. This is where things get interesting and a little cutthroat. We're gonna offer money, and if any of you captains take the money we offer, you and your entire row are completely eliminated. My first offer is $1,000. Stay tough, 42. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not eliminating my row for $1,000. I'm not moving. 14, please don't. Y'all are safe. I'm not doing it. Offer number two, $5,000. Don't do it. If one of you step out, eliminate your entire row, I will give you this $5,000. No, 42. Don't eliminate us, 42. Don't expect me to go anywhere for a while. Don't do it, 30. I just hope my wife agrees with whatever decision I make. Our next offer is $10,000. Don't do it! 10 grand isn't worth hurting these people. I like them a lot more than 10 grand. 20 grand! We're going until one of you step out! That ain't enough. That ain't enough. We're now at $50,000. At this point, all the captains have been holding strong, but it was clear once we had $50,000 on the line, some of the captains were having a harder time than others. Don't do it, 42! <laughs> all right, everybody, let's really have some fun. The next offer is, that puts us at 80, that puts us at 90, we're not done, put it up there. The new offer is $100,000 for the first captain to step out of their cube. 14, 30, 42, 64 or Mr. 100. I just need one of you five to step out so I can make you rich. No, 30! We're really starting to feel the pressure now. No, 42! Dude, I'm gonna be hated on so bad. Oh, I see 30 about to crack over there. Don't move! Don't you dare! 14, oh, he's doing it! I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I'm shocked. Shame on you! Shame on you! That's crazy! 30 has stepped out. All of the 20s and all of the 30s are now eliminated. You guys should have picked a better team captain. I can't. I can't look. I gotta, I gotta think of my son. You lied, 30! This line right here. This is the line that's gonna make it all the way to the end. Everyone in the 20s, you can leave. Everyone in the 30s, you're all eliminated. I'm sorry. What's going through your head right now? <laughs> now we got screwed. I kept thinking like that sets my kid up for a long, long time. Because of how much betrayal has been shown so far in this video, the 40s made an alliance to try to keep any of them from getting out, no matter what. 40 alliance hung together, there's four of us. It's that time again. Cast up your votes and see if you can all decide on a winner. And like usual, they couldn't agree. So we'll do a challenge and eliminate some more people. I'll be right back. The next challenge involves a spinning wheel that has all the remaining contestants' ages on it. So go ahead, Chandler, spin it. Currently, there are 36 of you remaining, and we're gonna spin the wheel until we eliminate 16 of you with this challenge, bringing our total down to the final 20. All right, 67, I'm coming to your cube. And while I'm walking over to his cube, Chandler, spin it again. That wheel is going to land on another person's age. And when it does, you're going to have to decide whether or not to eliminate them. 55. The challenge is simple. 67, you can choose if 55 is eliminated or stays in the challenge. Before you decide, it's only fair that 55 gets to say his piece. Thank you, everybody. It's been a great time. Good luck, guys. You don't want to ask to kindly not be eliminated or anything? No, because if I was in the same position, I'd do the same thing. I mean, he's giving you a pass to eliminate him. Uh, his choice. Wow, OK. Somebody got to go. So is that saying you want to eliminate him? Yes. Okay, the decision is final then. All right. I'm sorry, boss. Thank you, guys. Chandler, spin the wheel. I mean, he gave me the leeway to let him go. That was an easy first one. Surely they'll all go that well. Oh, 47. Now, we're going to give her a chance to talk to you before you make a decision. Have a peace of mind. I would love to stay. I don't want to go. What is your decision? She has stay. You survived. <laughs> And because she did not get eliminated, she now decides who stays and who goes. Technically, you could eliminate the next 15 people and be safe. No risk of elimination, but that'd be very cruel. It would be. 43. Would love to stay on our little team, but it's ultimately up to you. We're staying together. 43 is staying. Woo! Love you guys! 
The 40s alliance was determined to hold strong. You know what this means, right? Now you are in charge. You're one lucky person. <laughs> Chandler, spin the wheel. 66. All right. Right over there. 43. I know it's a hard decision for you, but I'd like to stay. Oh, that's what make me cry. If you let her stay, she gets control. It's up to you. <clears throat> 66, you are so sweet, and it's been a pleasure getting to know you. Um, unfortunately, in this game, we're trying to stick together, and I've enjoyed you, but um, unfortunately, you're eliminated. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's OK. Thank you. Thank you for coming out, 66. Oh, brutal. I'm so proud of you. With 42's influence over 43, we gotta keep control or we'll be eliminated. We're at war. I know. Nobody outside the 40s was safe. 57. I mean, you don't even know 57. 57, you're eliminated. 40s, watch out for the 50s, because they'll come back after you. 65. Oh, that's me. It's for the game, and I'm sorry. You've also been eliminated. Oh! She just took 65 out of the game. And I know it's breaking her heart, I know it is, but we yeah. can not lose control. 43 knows that if she stops eliminating people and gives up control of the wheel, the next person could potentially eliminate her. Oh! That's a big one. This, this means a lot to Gio. Don't take this decision lightly. Is, is, that, is that 11? <laughs> Gio. Don't cry yet. It's not over. I want you to listen to me very carefully. The next few seconds determine a lot. I'm gonna hand you this mic, and it's up to you to convince that person not to eliminate you. You understand? You are a kind person. And you are kind enough to not eliminate me. Oh, wow. Save Gio! Do it. Now's not the time to develop a heart, okay? Okay. Gio, I admire you so much. You are literally the coolest 11-year-old I've ever seen. You've got tons of energy and spunk, and your future is super bright. Um, but unfortunately, your time here is over. I'm so, so sorry. Everyone was absolutely speechless. Everyone, round of applause. I felt so bad about this elimination that I actually had age 11 come up and help me on stage. Give it up for Gio. At this point, everyone outside of the 40s knew they were in big trouble. She's gonna eliminate everybody. If you're not on 40, you're gone. Once again, I don't think it's safe for our side at all. 17. 17. Unfortunately, you are eliminated. Thanks. Womp womp. The 16-year-old. I have a great grandmother. She's uh, not doing too good health-wise. I'm so sorry, but uh, you're also eliminated 16. Wow. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Believe it or not, for some reason, the wheel just kept missing the 40s alliance. 52. You're eliminated. Oh my god. Until this spin. And now, the hardest decision of the challenge. Are you gonna eliminate yourself? I think I'm gonna keep spinning, Jimmy. Okay, give us another spin. You've also been eliminated. Ooh. Unfortunately, you are eliminated. All right, 75. Brutal. 62. See ya. You ain't you gotta say nothing. Bye. 62, you don't want to at least try to convince her? Nope. Bye. Hey, 62, I just wanna let you know, I'm gonna miss your snoring. What do you say, villain? I said I'm gonna miss your snoring. I'm not mad at you, 43. Now I start feeling your pain, but you just cruel. I miss you already. Bye, y'all. Without even making 43 decide, 62 left her cue. And with only one elimination left, let's see who their next victim is going to be. All right, it landed on Feastables. That means all of you get the world's best chocolate. No crunch. This is my favorite. <laughs> oh, crunch. Thank you, Jim. No problem. Even though he's eliminated, we'll still honor him. Make sure you go to Walmart and try our brand new formula. Anyways, when the wheel finally landed on someone else in the 40s alliance. 41, I love you. And that's why I'm going to pass it on to you. We finally have somebody new. Depending on who it lands on, this just might be our last spin. Oh. All right, Mr. 100, do you have anything to say to the person attempting to eliminate you? I hope 
that you will not eliminate me, and I ask you not to vote me out. Mr. 100, I am so sorry. God bless you. I hope that everything works out for you. Adios. Oh, no. I understand your response, and uh, I congratulate you on what you do. Let's give it up for age 100. Everyone was absolutely heartbroken to see our oldest contestant be eliminated. And because he was clearly a crowd favorite, I couldn't let him leave without something extra. I'll give you $20,000 for coming out and competing. Thank you. I've enjoyed being with you. It's been brutal. We just watched a lot of people get eliminated. I know everyone's probably very sad right now. Specifically 43. Eliminated, 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 eliminated. Eliminated. We don't need to say specific numbers. True. How do you feel after the challenge? I've lost the love for the 40s. I'll say it out loud. They decimated my crew. The 50s don't seem to like you guys. Because we knocked half of them out. If they had gotten the mic, they would have knocked half of us out. I agree. The moral of the story is trust no one. <laughs> and after letting the contestants recover for a few hours, we held another vote to see if they could decide on a winner. Looks like literally none of you can agree on anything. It's time for another challenge. It'll be intense. Good. If you look over here, you'll see $250,000. Not to be confused with the other $250,000. And one of you can walk out with this one right now. What? Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. But before I tell you how, we need to black out all your rooms. Bring in the curtains. He doesn't want us talking to each other. Which is tough, because we're such a strong team, so. That really anties up the stakes a bit. We have officially blacked out all 20 cubes. If only one of you voluntarily step out and eliminate yourself, you win this $250,000. But if any more than one of you try to go for it, you'll be eliminated and win nothing. The timer has started. Let's see if someone wins $250,000. I literally missed out on $100,000 today. This time, I'm gonna go exactly what I came here for. Just letting you know, I will be stepping out. So if you wanna join me, then we can be losers together. I think I might do it. 64, you going? Yep. Well, if you go and 42 goes, you don't get nothing. That is right. It was abundantly clear that age 42 was going to do everything in his power to secure this challenge's prize money for himself. Which means, while they're deciding if they want to step out of their cubes, I want to tell you guys about Top Troops. Top Troops is a free-to-play mobile game where you battle enemies, conquer lands, and unlock new characters. Are you in this game? I haven't got to that talking point yet. My bad. <laughs> With Top Troops, I can literally train my own army to fight in massive epic battles. So, that right there, Mac, is actually my very own character in Top Troops. He's really handsome. I am. Bro, I'm in a video game. And for the next 14 days to test out my character, they gave me my own battle challenge. My new character can literally lower the enemy's damage. And if you use it in my challenge, it gets even more powerful. That's pretty cool. Download Top Troops now by using the link in the description or, let me see that, scan the QR code on Nolan's face right now. For a limited time, you'll get a king's chest and 15 shards on me to help unlock exclusive troops. Please get this thing off my face. I got you. Please. Oh. I'm walking out. There's only still one person. He's literally gonna win the same amount of money as the grand prize. Someone could leave with this money right now. And if you do decide to leave, you must remain silent. Nobody's gotten out on your side. As of right now, 42 is gonna walk away with a quarter of a million dollars. 50's hanging tight. Like a rock. Casey sticking. Casey staying. Alright, bud. Three. Two. Step out now or forever hold your peace. One. Time is up. Let's see if someone just won a quarter of a million dollars. Guards, drop the curtains. If you look around, you'll see that 42 was the only one to step out. <laughs> Until two seconds remained. And someone all the way over there stepped out at the last second. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, 42. They say, go big or go home. 40's just lost their leader. Oh. And you guys are still playing. Just remember that. <sighs> this is tough. You both rolled the dice and it didn't work out. I made my voice very loud and clear and you knew what was gonna happen, so you basically said, money. I don't like you. It, it happens. That's okay. I think that's enough stress for today. Make sure you make lots of friends tonight. My neighbor is gone now. 
I made it very, very, very loud and clear with my voice telling everyone, listen, there's only one winner here. It seemed to have worked until the last two seconds. Sorry, two seconds count. My decision was made before the clock started. It looks like the 50s were not so quickly going to forget the damage that they took yesterday. All I gotta say is uh, 40s, watch out for the 50s because they'll come back after you. And thanks again to Top Troops for making this video possible. Make sure to go download it after you finish the video. So far, 82 people have been eliminated from this challenge, but we're not slowing down anytime soon. Good morning, everybody. Do you think you're all gonna agree on who should win the 250 grand? Maybe. Um, throw the votes up on the tablets. Surely everyone voted for the same person. Let's be honest. Should I just get the next challenge ready? Yeah. Yeah, I figured. It's getting less unanimous as we have less people. All right, time for the next challenge. Bring out the briefcases. At this point, all the people older than 40 began to pick up on what the next challenge was. There are cases with numbers on them, like deal or no deal. Oh my goodness, this is deal or no deal, I think. It almost looks like the deal or no deal. Um... Our next challenge challenge looks really similar to the very popular show Deal or No Deal. And so we brought out the face of the show himself, Howie Mandel. <laughs> what up, Howie? Everyone over the age of 40 really loved Howie. Thank you, please. 14 year old, you might not have seen it. Do you know me? Wait, wait, wait. I might know some, is music, are you a music artist? And if you're also under the age of 40 and haven't seen Deal or No Deal, don't worry, I'll explain the rules along the way. If you look at those 18 briefcases over there, half say eliminated and half say safe. I need you to pick a number. 14. Makes sense. Open this briefcase where no one else, including me, can see what's inside. Do you know what's inside? Yes. Who is the next youngest person here? I think it's me. All right, now I'm going to 41. 41 now has the option to steal 14's briefcase for herself or roll the dice and choose a random one of the remaining briefcases. Let's see how well they're able to read each other. Hey, what's in the fourth in the case number 14? It says safe. I'll steal it from you. 41, open. I love it. He's having such a good yeah. time. No, I am. This is like, I'm reminiscing. Open the case. Oh! Wow. Why didn't he lie and keep his safe briefcase? That means everyone's odds just got worse. It's time to pick a new briefcase. What number will it be? 13. Lucky 13. On to our next youngest contestant, age 43. Hey, 14. What you got in your suitcase? It says eliminated. Whoa. I'm gonna be honest, at this point, I didn't even know if he was telling the truth or not. 14, do you pinky swear that it says not safe? It says not safe. Whoa, is this a strategy? Um, I think I'm gonna pick my own suitcase today. 14, open your briefcase. All right. Eliminated. Aww, oh, 14. No. I'm so sorry, buddy. Also, another person on your elimination list. <laughs> it never ends with her. <laughs> See you, buddy. You're the best. Thank you. Uh, so I wanted to be honest, and I was, and I got eliminated. I feel like what I did was the right thing. There are 16 briefcases. Pick your number. I'm gonna go with lucky number three. We don't even need a microphone for this one. They're side by side. We still have an alliance. You can trust me or not. If you are safe, I'm gonna let you keep your briefcase. Are you safe? I am not safe. Oh, now I have to make the hard decision. No steal. Okay. He chose not to steal 43's briefcase. Open it up for us. If she is lying, and this case does in fact say safe, the 40s will not be able to trust each other any longer, and their alliance will be broken. Oh! oh that is a strong alliance. I'm so sorry, 43. We love you, 43! This is almost worse than being buried. It's definitely worse. 15 cases are left, and only eight of them are safe. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm eliminated. I'm just gonna go with the fates. 44. He is eliminated. This is brutal. Good luck, ma'am. Pick whatever number you want. 10. 10. Make sure no one sees it. I didn't walk in here with money. I walked in here with integrity. It's a safe. Are you telling the truth? You are making the biggest choice of your life. Well, he had suspense. That is steal or no steal. I want to take it. There's no turning back. Your future lies inside this case. I can't. Uh... Open the case. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> she was telling the truth. Thank you so much. Let's see if at some point she decides to move on herself. What do you want him to think is in your case? Eliminate it. I'm gonna believe you and let you keep your case then. Open the case. While her honesty did in fact get her eliminated, it did save two of the people in her alliance. Are you honest, 48? I've always been honest with you, 5-1, you know that. I'm gonna make it easy for you, it says eliminated. Howie, I got this one. Steal or no steal. I love that. Anyways, quarter mil on the line, 51. I am going to not steal. Let's see if 48 was telling the truth. Three, two, one. He was lying. Well played. That was well played. I hope you all learned. That's how you lie, folks. You made it to the top nine. Let's see if 51 does as well. 17, Howie. Here we go. 17 is coming up. I'm going to trust whatever he says. He says eliminated. Steal or no steal? No steal. No steal. All right. Let's show her. He was honest. 51. You're now eliminated. That sucked. Even though 54 just dodged a bullet, she is now faced with an elimination case. Hi, 54, I am ready. I'm honestly going to tell you that in box number seven, it says eliminated. I know you are giving my ticket out of here because you won't lie to me. This is a tough decision. Steal or no steal. And now I feel like there's a whole world sitting on my shoulders right now. Uh, steal. All right. Even though she said it has eliminate, you're going to steal it? That, that is what I said, yes. Steal. And he's jumping on a grenade for her. Do you believe her? Um, I, I do. I want the best for, for her. I mean, I'll see my, my grandchildren. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That might be the most selfless thing I've ever witnessed in my life. Well, I feel like I'm going to trip over this thing. <laughs> You gave me the easiest choice I have made. God bless you. If you have a chance to give something, give that to that person. And I did win. I met Howie Mandel. And when faced with yet another elimination case, once again, she chose to tell the truth. I'm just going to tell you that it says eliminated. No, I'm not going to steal it. As the game neared its end, we were running out of safe briefcases. I got one of the safe box. I'd like to steal. I believe him. Oh. oh no! And once we got to the final two briefcases, we had no idea if they were going to lie or tell the truth. It's between 67 and 96. One is safe and one is eliminate. Do you want to pick the briefcase or do you want 96 to pick the briefcase? Go for it, 96. It's amazing that you're here. I hope I have the energy at your age that you have. And I want a downhill ski next year. Okay. Which case do you want? 16. 16 it is. We're going to open and look at the case so nobody else can see it. What in the case, 96? Eliminate. My dad is 96 years old. He don't tell a whole lot of lies. <laughs> Do you want to take the last case on stage or steal 96's case? No steal. And because these are our final two briefcases, we're going to take the drama up a notch and open them both at the same time to see who's moving on to the top nine for $250,000. I'm going to give us a count now. Three, two, one. <gasps> You're staying. We're staying. The 96-year-old lied. I'm alive and kicking. That is why he's the oldest person left in this challenge. And with that, we are now down to the top nine. The next challenge will be even crazier. It's end game. We're down to the final nine. I am planning on winning this game. Super nervous. 40s Alliance holding strong. Woo! Emotions are running high. I think it's gonna get pretty crazy soon. And as we rolled into the final day of this video, the contestants' trust for each other was running thin. Welcome to my humble abode. Around you is just a sea of red X's. I see a blood. Do you trust those people over there on the other side? No, I don't. Out of every single person left in this room, okay. who do you trust the most? 47, 100%. When we got into this, it was entirely about, let's see how far the two of us can get. And if it ends up being the last two of us, that would be amazing. What's your strategy? 
I don't have a strategy. Since you cannot agree on who wins that giant wad of cash over there, you are now going to choose four people to eliminate from this competition. The way that you'll decide is simple. All of you will tell the room why you deserve the prize money. And as a group, you'll have to decide who is worthy and not worthy for continuing this challenge. Every decision you have made this entire video leads to this moment. Let them know what you'll spend the money on. I've got a son who's got pretty significant special needs. We leave everything back in our country, Philippines. I have no health insurance. I have horrific neuropathy. My cousin, she has lupus, so I want to help her. She has three little ones. This is so hard, y'all. I also have an autistic nonverbal daughter who will be seven at the end of the month. She needs so much work and we've got so far to go. You know, I'm crying for everybody. <laughs> Breaks my heart. Just want to give all my money away to everybody. How can we possibly rank somebody's wishes and hopes higher than anyone else's? Let's invest the money for 90 to 120 days on my mining platform. It's so unfair to say, well, your charity is not as important as this or that. It doesn't seem fair. Almost lost his business during the pandemic. We'll vote one at a time for who's not moving on. Okay. Okay, let's start with the obvious. To my daughter, because I'm living with her. She took me in when I... This is getting harder and harder the longer it goes. Let's make our decision to move on because it's not getting any easier. Now that you've heard each other's stories, now it is time for all of you to decide who will stay and who will go. I don't know what to do. Let's start with 61. The people on this side of the room have decided on 61. After hearing everybody's stories, it's time to see who you collectively think should go home. Reveal the results. Wow. Who was it? Uh, 61. That's me. She's a troublemaker. You know what? So long. Goodbye. Three more competitors need to be voted out. It is up to you to decide. I don't know what I'm going to do. We can do 46 if we need to. Do it now. 46, he wasn't very convincing with Mike. The votes are in. All right. Nervous? Extremely. I'm about to knife my lines. Let's see the results. Every vote was on a 40-year-old. I thought you all had an alliance. Bro. Whoa. All right. 46, you have been eliminated. I cannot believe that just happened. The entire 40-year-old's alliance just imploded. Who's next? 96. I can't say. Let's see what you all decided. Whoa, 96 year old. Good luck, and I thank everybody. I'm happy I was on the show. The final vote coming up. 72. Do it now. We're ready for the last elimination of this challenge, and this time I'm gonna have you tell me what number you voted for. Who did you vote for? I voted for 72. One vote for 72? She's a sweetheart. 72. Who did you vote for? 41. One vote for 41. Who did you vote for? I voted for 72, so we're even 72. Who did you vote for and why? I voted for 41. Who is more? Wants and dreams. I will help my twin sister to get a house. Instead of needs. That ties it up. Who did you vote for? 72. That's three votes for 72 and two votes for 41. The deciding factor here, who did you vote for? 72. Do it now. I voted for 72. That means 72 received a majority of votes. I'm sorry. You are eliminated. Only one person gets that money. Unfortunately, we, we knew we had to make some cuts at some point. It's now time to play the game. Attention final contestants. Again and again, you have failed to unanimously vote for a winner. And now you no longer have a choice. I don't like that you guys are so far apart, especially 56 over here. Doesn't feel fair. So boys, it is now time to reveal the biggest twist in this whole video. For the first time since this video began, you may now exit your cubes. I promise you will not be eliminated. And make your way down to the giant cube 
for your final challenge. Wait, I was just in a queue. As I've been saying this entire video, the decision of who wins this money is ultimately up to you. We're gonna throw an hour up on the screen, and when that hits zero, whoever's left in this cube will win the $250,000. And if for some reason there's more than one person, boys, come on out. You'll notice Mac and Tariq are holding flamethrowers, and they will not hesitate to engulf this money in flames if that timer hits zero. Time is ticking. Best of luck. Only one of us is walking away with that money. I feel like there is not one person here above anyone else. Amen. That goes from one to 100. We all deserve this money. <sighs> it's not deserve, it's win the game. Thoughts? If we cannot agree in one person, then we gotta find ways to get there. Any ideas on that? I would have much rather they told us what to do. Mm. Is anyone willing to leave? That is a fair question. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Why not? We haven't discussed that. Mm hmm. So none of us want to leave. So I'm kind of at a disadvantage with, with you all. I don't know your story. If she tells you her story, that money's going to burn. But my story is me. My story is my life. I have struggles. She has struggles. I have struggles. So do we not want to share anything or do we just make it as we know right now? We can't share. We got 15 minutes. Oh, We're just killing time right now. Time is dwindling. Someone needs to start leaving now. I, I can't breathe. I'd just rather walk out. No. You deserve to be here just as any of us. If you're not strong enough to sit there and say that I can stay, I don't see how you can vote somebody out. This isn't a fight, okay? This is life. It okay? is life. Do I want to pick you out? No, I don't want to. You're not the one that can't handle it and wants to walk out. But I'm not going to let her walk. That's it. All five are still in the queue. I can literally feel the intensity. What about ranked choice voting? Quickly write down in paper what ranking looks like. This is how it would look. 48's idea is pretty simple. Everyone chooses, in order, who they think deserves the money the most. And whoever appears at the top of all the lists the most consistently will win the money. So it would just be one vote and we're done. That's ranked choice voting. I say we do that. Do you want to collect them and tally it? That's what I'm doing. If you want to come over and show me, then I'll start writing. All right, we're ready. You've come to a conclusion? Yes. Whenever you guys are ready, feel free to step out. 56 was in fifth place. 41 and 64 tied for third. Oh my God. Come on, sister. I need somebody to hold on to anyway. And now it's come down to 47 and 48, who have had the strongest alliance in this whole video since the very first day. But as you know, only one of them can win this $250,000. I came in second. 47 is our winner. That's crazy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Congratulations, 47. You struggle to eliminate other players, you built the strongest alliance, and even until the very end, you fought for those around you. I'm not gonna let her walk. And that is why 100 people ultimately decided that that is your $250,000. <laughs> and don't worry, all four of them are gonna walk away with $10,000. <laughs> it's been absolutely amazing. <laughs> this is crazy. 47, we have one final surprise for you. Come on out. Mommy! You made it, sweetie. Made it. <laughs> I can finally help you, Mom. Oh God, help me. This was definitely one of my favorite videos to film. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video being longer than normal. We're testing longer content to prepare for our upcoming Amazon Prime show, which I'll tell you more about later this year.
We're gonna fly on this jet that costs half a million dollars per flight. And we're also gonna fly on this $25,000 private jet, a $10,000 first class seat, a blimp, and so much more. But before I show you what it's like to fly on some of the most luxurious planes on the planet, we're gonna fly on the cheapest plane in the world. It's really rickety. Here's the dollar. I'm very nervous. Nothing to be nervous about. I've done this half a dozen times. You've done this six times. Why does this sound like a lawnmower engine? <laughs> Time for a ride on the world's cheapest plane ticket. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh no. We're going so fast. That does not sound safe. Oh. oh my god. They almost hit a camper. Woo! He's like swiveling. Keep your seat, my lad. Uh, you just focus on keeping me alive, Doug. I'm trying. All right, he's in there. All right, uh, Dibs on the channel. I got what I need. You can land whatever. <laughs> no. Doug, no, come on, Doug, please. That guy pays my bills. Be careful. And if you guys think this is crazy, wait until later in the video when we have the most, most expensive plane ticket on the planet. Wait a minute, you're making me feel bad. Oh my God, he's coming in hot. You ready to land? Oh, yeah! We're on the ground, we survived! Our next plane is the $1,000 first class plane ticket. But here's the thing, boys. I bought all the first class seats. So sit wherever you want. Would you like some Miracle Mist lotion? Why? Because first class, baby. <laughs> Fine dining, huh? Each of us had our own seat and TV. The ticket also comes with a decent meal, a free bag of toiletries, and pajamas. Do we get to take all this home with us? And during longer flights, recline. We should recline into a bed. I feel like I'm in a coffin, which I like. Yeah, this is crazy. And best of all, my favorite part about this thousand dollar plane, I don't need to speak to Nolan. I don't like this glass because it like separates me. I'm I, all alone back That is the exact reason why I like it. The only downside is that you don't get a lot of privacy. It's really awkward filming a video with all these people walking by. So let's see what a plane ticket that is 10 times more expensive feels like. And now the $10,000 plane ticket. Oh man, this is nice. I have unlimited legroom here. Look, let's start off by analyzing what we get. A tablet, a giant touchscreen TV, my own in-seat drink bar, snacks. This isn't feasible chocolate. I want a refund. We're getting connected to the Wi-Fi. We might have paid $10,000 for our seat, but we still have to pay $20 for Wi-Fi. It's not free. Now we're taking off, which is pretty crazy because I can literally watch it on my TV. And because it's a 16 hour flight, I get to take a sh Look at how nice this bathroom is. You have a sink, a toilet, and then a shower. That is crazy. Look at that. We are 30,000 feet in the air and I can take a shower. On top of that, me and the boys can order as much gourmet food as we want. And that's not all. We saved the best for last. Hey, how's it going? There's a private lounge in the back of the plane. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah? I, I'm Ow. Listening. You're not dreaming. That was the $10,000 plane ticket. Point the camera up and down. And now we're at the $25,000 plane ticket that is up these stairs. That's right, there's floors. This is insane. This is crazy. We're gonna be sitting above other people. Oh my God. This is your room. For $25,000, you get two massive rooms. Oh, this is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. Holy cow. Our space on this plane is literally four times bigger than the last one. I've never seen a plane where I can comfortably do jumping jacks. Look at this. We also get two chairs, a ton of TVs. There are more TVs in this one room than all of the other planes we've been on. Food served by a personal flight attendant. Why is it that after a certain price point, they always give you caviar? And a bathroom. Can we talk about something? <laughs> this bathroom is like a disappointment. No shower, no heated floors, half the size. I think the $10,000 flight was a better price point. Would you pay this kind of money for a single flight? I wouldn't recommend this. I would recommend a car. Buy a car instead. And now the best part of the room, a queen size bed. Ooh, why don't they just make every seat a bit? Bro, instead of three seats side by side, just put a bunk bed with three beds. Good morning. That was really good sleep. Carl, wake up, we're gonna land. I slept like a rock. That was the world's most expensive commercial flight. Time for private flights. This is the $100,000 plane! This thing's huge! At this price point, you get the entire plane! Oh, it's like a yacht. This is wild. This is unbelievable. You wanna know the craziest part? This is just one of four rooms. There's more to the plane? I thought this was it. 
Guys, come over here. What room is this? This is literally another lounge area with a bunch of snacks and a huge TV. And if you're feeling tired, you get your own private bedroom. Dude, what? This is like a hotel. And last but not least, the bathroom. Tariq, shut your mouth right now. Shut it. This is insane. There's a seat in the bathroom, dude. Have you ever even seen a jet half this size? No. Never. What do we talk about while on our private jet? Well, I'll tell you, last year I sold the, uh, the Smitherman's oh, account. Geez. Oh, wait. I just realized I'm oh, taking off backwards. Oh, go, bro. Oh. I didn't realize you were taking off. Not the camera. Stop. This is crazy. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the flew. Oh my god. <laughs> I can just roll back. Oh, turn. All right, I'm going to sit down. This might be the best bathroom yet. This is the toilet. On the toilet, you can watch TV. Hey, Nolan, I hope you feel comfortable in the bathroom. What's going on? I'm so confused. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's never getting out. Oh, oh wow. What? I have steak, mashed potatoes, oh, and amazing. veggies. And you guys inspired me a little bit, so I brought some pizza. This is my favorite plane because it has YouTube. But we didn't pop up first, so now it's not. You can tell this is a rich person bed because there's like 500 pillows. This one out of here, that one out of here. I'm gonna fly this thingy. And that's the beauty of flying private. You can do whatever you want, whenever. Carl's flying the plane, Chandler's jamming out the pizza, Chris is taking a nap, and I don't even know where Nolan went. There's no layovers when you fly private, and there's no TSA, so you save tons of time. Hence why basically every rich person you know owns a private jet. Hey guys. Yeah? We're gonna land soon. Carl, let me out. We're about to land, you gotta let me out, bro. Oh, oh, oh my God. That was the opposite of smooth. <laughs> wait, wait, is Nolan still in the bathroom? I don't know. Is Carl going let him out? Oh, oh! How was your flight? Still better than the $1,000 plane. <laughs> and now the $300,000 blimp. I'll unblur it in a second. Before I remove your blindfolds, what do you think is on the side of the blimp? Is it Nolan's phone number? Did you do Nolan's phone number? That would be funny. Next time. Take off your blindfolds. Turn around. I heard <laughs> Carl's mom. Oh my! Why? He really loves my mom. No, Carl, he hearts your mom. He doesn't love your mom. That'd be no, weird. I love her. Oh. Dude, am I pushing it right now? Oh. It's like moving. This giant aircraft can literally just be pulled by a rope. And you might be wondering, how did I afford this giant blimp and pay six figures to wrap it? ZipRecruiter, a recruiting platform that I use to hire people like editors, cameramen, and accountants. Let's see if it stops floating when I get on it. That's gains, dude. Does that mean I'm fat? It means you work out a lot. Or I'm fat. ZipRecruiter is where people go to discover their next great job. If this blimp crashes and I die, uh -huh. you guys can just use ZipRecruiter to find a new job. That'll make it hey. so much easier. I Thanks, feel like I don't man. like this conversation. Shh, shh. All right, let's do this. Goodbye, Chandler. Goodbye, forever. I think I heard forever. He could have promoted anything, and he chose Carl's mom. I'm terrified. This thing's picking up speed. Well, we'll see you at the race. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're flying this blimp over 150,000 people at the world's largest race car event. And Carl has no idea. Before I die in this blimp, I want to tell you guys about ZipRecruiter. We recently made a job posting on ZipRecruiter, and I'm going to call one of the candidates and interview them. Hey, Thomas, I saw your application on ZipRecruiter. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Is this Mr. Beast? Yeah, I'm Mr. Beast. It doesn't matter. Sorry, uh, I can barely hear you right now. Yeah, because we're on a blimp. How long have you been an editor for? Uh, I've been an editor for about 10 years. Do you think you can improve our videos? I think with a strong team and a little creative innovation, I can definitely make your videos better. Okay, not bad. Send me some examples of your work. If, like Thomas, you want a shot to come work for us, click the link in the description or go to supercooter.com slash MrBeast. We're gonna look at every single person that applies. We are now over the Daytona 500, which is one of the busiest events ever. You couldn't have put something better on the blimp? No, this is perfect. This is wrong. <laughs> can they see us? You can see us. Carl, I can confirm everyone loves your mom down here. I love Carl's mom! Yeah. Everybody's like, we love Carl's mom. Yeah. Carl's mom, if you're watching, you're a lovely lady. You're a psycho. For your mom. And now, the most expensive private plane ticket on the planet. Hi, 
Hi, welcome aboard. I suggest you taking your shoes off. The carpet's actually two million dollars. She's like, I suggest it really hard. And by square feet, this is bigger than our houses. It's almost impossible to imagine how big this jet actually is. Right here is a bedroom. Wow. A bedroom. Another bedroom. Another bedroom. Keep going. This is for the crew. Another bedroom. What'd you find? My dibs. The bedrooms on this plane are way more extravagant. Gold-plated sinks, multiple showers. Wait, what's in there? That's the toilet. This plane comes with its own theater, a lounge that can seat up to 12 people, and then over here is the living room. This is like a bigger couch than what I have in my house. I just want you to know, you've only seen a third of the plane so far. There's more? What? Oh, we got some good stuff. You can call a flight attendant to your bedroom. If we could do this every time we fly, I'd live in the air. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Sorry, I'm turning the lights on and off. How did I miss this room? Like, we walked around the whole plane. And in case you thought you saw everything, there's also massages on this plane. How is it, Carl? It's amazing. So I really just shouldn't. <laughs> Gentlemen, how were we able to afford this plane? I would say only our fans. And because of that, we invited a bunch of random subscribers on this half a million dollar plane ride. Have you ever flown on a private jet before? No, this is my first time. And it's the most expensive one on the planet. I've never seen anything like this on a plane. Like, this is crazy. Ma'am, what is this right here? That's gas station chocolate. Can you just throw it? I didn't think she'd literally throw one. This is the chocolate you need to serve from now on, okay? Got it. It's called Feastables. It's the highest rated chocolate on the planet. What the heck is over this way? Yo, this gotta be a secret room. That's where the crew is. We just got a bunch of funny looks. <laughs> Attention, boys. We're about to take off. Passing your seatbelt. Stop being hooligan. Thank you. <laughs> Typically, what kind of people fly on a plane like this? Business people? How do my dumb friends compare? <laughs> so pretty dumb, I guess it's <laughs> At this price point, they serve the highest quality food anytime you want it and wherever on the plane you want it. Even in your own private master suite. What's up? Do you guys even know where we're going? No. We're taking you all to Disney World and we're gonna give you two days of all expense paid trips to do whatever you want. No way! So if you wanna fly on the most expensive jet in the world and then spend two days all paid for in Disney World, subscribe.